So I just set up my first FedEx freight box shipment and I wanted to share how it worked and how much money we were able to save using it. Uh, we had a pallet of goods we needed to ship down from uh, Buffalo to uh, Florida and it was going to cost us $938 to ship it using a, a U-ship quote uh, from FedEx freight, ironically. Uh, but we ended up using these uh, FedEx flat rate boxes uh, and I was able to ship it for $492. Uh, the rates are really good. Uh, I'll show them on screen here for a minute. Uh, they're adding a, a $100-ish fuel surcharge at the moment. Uh, my shipment would actually have cost me just $330 if I didn't need a lift gate. Um, so the, uh, the weight limit on these is 1,200 pounds, and the pricing doesn't fluctuate with weight. Uh, there's also two sizes. Uh, there's this box size, and then there's a small, uh, a smaller one that is like a, it has like an integrated cardboard pallet section. Um, again, both uh, cost the same to ship, and both have that same 1,200 pound weight limit. Uh, they got delivered by a, a FedEx freight truck. Um, they, I got one of each size just to to test it out. And uh, I like the large box because it has, you know, it, it's got its own pallet, uh, pallet and it seems a lot sturdier. Um, the small one just seems pretty flimsy. Um, we did have to get a new FedEx freight account number. Uh, our, this is like separate than the account number we have for our ground and express shipments. Uh, our, our sales rep was uh, pretty helpful in getting that set up. Uh, I am told that the rates for these aren't negotiable uh, or, or so I'm told. Uh, you know, overall, I'm, I'm super happy with how cost effective it ended up being and uh, we'll probably be using uh, the service again in the future. So uh, it did come with uh, four straps and four uh, buckles to uh, affix the top on and we had to feed them through. Uh, we just taped them to like a threaded rod and, and fed it through the bottom. And once we got it cinched up, it was pretty solid. Um, you know, we had a lot of weight in there, so we didn't have to worry too much about it. We could have thrown some more shrink wrap around it, but uh, yeah, it, it turned out pretty well. Um, so if, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, uh, you know, please subscribe to our channel. We're a small manufacturing business in Buffalo, and we do videos like this on a regular basis, just kind of doing a behind the scenes. Um, I couldn't find any content like this on YouTube, so I learned so much from the platform, so, you know. I'd just like to share back. So, all right. Thank you. Have a good night.